This video is going to show you how to graph linear equations in uh, Microsoft Excel. And we're going to do it with the co in the context of a cost um, a cost uh, revenue analysis, cost revenue uh, profit analysis. Um, and I want to have Excel program the y, uh, calculate the y values for me. So I'm going to just give myself some titles, some headers. Now, if I'm looking at, um, now I'm just going to do any old equation, and I'm going to give myself some room here to type in these equations. I want C, C of X to equal, let's say I have something that, co that costs three units to make, three dollars a unit to make, and I did an initial um, initial cost of $5,000, and I'm choosing to sell these puppies for $15 a pop, and that gives me a profit equation of 12x minus 5,000. So if I sold, if I wanted to plot these, say I'm going to start at zero units, and then I'm going to go up by 25. Let's see if this will, good. I'm going to bring it all the way down to 500 units. Okay, so now I want to program each and every one of these cells to do the thing for me. So I'm going to type in equals, which tells Excel I want to do math, and I'm going to type in three times, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this box because that's going to move when I drag and drop everything down, and I want it to move to the 500 slot plus 5,000. So at zero units, it's going to cost me $5,000. At zero units with revenue, zero units produced with my revenue, I'm going to select that A3 again, and or I'm going to well, I'm going to type in 15 times A3. That'll give me zero. And here, when I make zero units, I'll be in debt tw uh, five thousand dollars. So 12 times zero minus five thousand. Okay. Now I'm going to select all of these, and I'm going to drag and drop. And that'll fill in all of my values. Now I want to plot these on the same axis. So I'm going to select my data, and I'm going to insert a scatter plot, which is here. And it puts in the three um, three equations for me: cost, revenue, profit. So series one, I'm going to edit these. No, I don't want to switch around column. I don't want to select data, but I do want to edit each series. So this series name is cost. This series is revenue, and this series is profit. Now notice, I'm going to make this a little bigger. Now notice that our profit goes negative, because here, I'm going to draw some lines. I'm going to add trend line, and that'll show up negative. It'll, it's completely linear, so this will this will work. I just want the lines because it'll make it a little easier to see. And let's change colors. The profit here goes negative when we start our x-axis at zero. And we start our x-axis at zero because we can't have negative units. Um, but we can have negative profit. We will lose money. 
So we have, we have to make a certain amount of units in order for us to start seeing a positive profit, which is right around here. Notice that that happens right about at this line. Okay. I took the liberty of calculating the break even point, which comes up to 4.16.66667 repeating, which gives me a cost of $6,250 and gives me a revenue of $6,250 with a profit of zero. However, I can't make a 0.66 of a unit, so I have to round up and make 417 units, which will give me 260 6,251 in cash and 6,255 in revenue with a profit of $4. Um, now I do sometimes ask you to graph points on, um, on the graph. Um, and there is a way of making a new series. So you have points. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and scooch this over. So I want to also graph uh, the four, the four seventeen. Um, I want to. I don't want to do this here. I want to have the four seventeen, and I want to put the sixty five one over here. And let me see if that will allow me to plot that point. So I want to. I'm going to select my data and move it over here. And then I get a new series with a new dot, series four, which is the point that I'm plotting. Um, and if you don't like these dots, you can format and design it all. You can change these things. Um, uh, there, there are various ways of making them uh, be seen better. Um, I hope that helps. And if it doesn't, you know where to find me.